Hey guys, it's Basilla Cloth here, and today I'm so this Monster Legends Leaks video. I have some brand new leaks for you guys, including some new events, and I have a brand new moveset for a monster that seems really overpowered. So stick around for that, and let's get into the events first. So the first event we have is the Monster Week Mythics. So there will be some Mythics inside of the shop, and you can buy them for gems. They are pretty cheap, so I do suggest you guys get them, depending on which ones you're going to get. Because some of them aren't worth gems, but some of them really are worth gems. So I suggest looking up a tier list or something before you buy stuff, so that you can be sure that you're not wasting your gems. And then we have the Metalhead Challenge, so you can get this Cosmic Mythic Metalhead. He's coming back, he was in a maze a long time ago. So I do suggest you guys try to get him, since he is inside of the Do book, the Do and Friends book. So you can do some really great rewards if you end up getting him and everyone else. And speaking of everyone else, we also have a Keithor Challenge, which is a legendary inside the Do and Friends book. And then we also actually have a Metalisha and a Glamhead Challenge, which are also monsters inside of the book. So if you get all of these, if you already got the do, I definitely suggest you guys try to get these. Because if you get all of these and the do, you get a bunch of great rewards. So yeah, definitely suggest you guys do those events. And now let's look at Captain Alvid. So Captain Alvid is a brand new cosmic mythic coming to Monster Legends very soon. It will be inside of the next maze. And it actually seems pretty good. So I definitely suggest you guys try to get them. And as I already said, it will be an maze. And it is right here, the Ghost Fort Maze. And its trait is at rank 0. She's a immune to immediate death which is interesting there aren't that many monsters with immediate death so i don't know if that's really worth it and at rank one she gets immune to sunburn which is also interesting but at rank three she gets evasion so if you can get her to rank three she's really good so definitely it's just that and now let's look at her move set so the first move is captain on board deals moderate fire damage to one enemy applies fire weakness to one enemy that'll be pretty good if all of these moves are fire i'm not sure if her moves are fire though I think they must be fire if she's giving fire weakness, but I'm not completely sure. So the next one we have is female crew applies damage boost and stamina regen to one ally. That's pretty good because it doesn't only do it to itself. You could use that on like your ally and then your ally could attack and do a bunch of damage. And then we have red alvid phantom deals moderate fire damage to all enemies, applies fire weakness and burn to all enemies. That's much better. So applying fire weakness to all enemies can definitely be way better than the one that just gives it to one enemy. And if you're pairing this monster with other fire monsters, you can do just tons of damage with that. And the burn is just cherry on the cake. And then we have blue alvid phantom deals moderate water damage to enemies. That's pretty good. And then applies water weakness and drown. That's really interesting. So this monster has both water and fire moves, which is really interesting. And I feel like it can be used in very good ways. So next we have ammo reload applies damage boost precision and stamina regen to all allies. That's a really good support move. I definitely run that. And then we have dual ember, which applies evasion and damage boost to one ally requires cooldown. That's a pretty good move too. That is much better than the one that just applies damage boost and stamina regen in my opinion. But I guess you could run both for just for the stamina regen but i feel like the evasion is just better than stamina regeneration in general so yeah and then we have siren's cry applies triple damage to all allies that is a really good support move i definitely run that that is a very very good move and then we have green alvid phantom deals very heavy water damage to one enemy applies possession and poison to one enemy that's a pretty decent move, but I feel like it doesn't really work with her other moves, but I guess it could. Or wait, yeah, it does, because it deals very heavy water damage. You could use that after you apply the water weakness. So yeah, that's a pretty good move. And then we have double ethereal slash, which is a special. There is moderate special damage to all enemies, applies possession, drowned, and burn to all enemies. That is a very good special. So all around this monster seems really good. I definitely suggest you guys try to get him out of the ghost fort maze when it happens. Pretty sure it'll be in like two weeks or something like that. So yeah, definitely look for that when it comes out and do it. And yeah, those are all the leaks for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.